Hey guys, my name is Chris, and in this video I want to give you a little demo of how I create videos to promote products using Video Spin Blaster. Um, the, the example I'm going to give you is on some water bags I found on Amazon. I do promote a lot of products from Amazon as well as many other affiliate uh, networks. In fact, um, I've been doing affiliate marketing since about 1998, which was shortly after the very first affiliate marketing network was launched on the internet, which was Amazon. And so I've been through it since the beginning. I've seen you know everything change over time, and I've tried to keep up with it and follow along. Um, probably not as much as I should be, um, but I have found that this strategy works extremely well. It's very effective, and um, we have made many, many sales through making the videos like this. So with that said, um, here I am in Video Spin Blaster Pro and you can see some images I have here. I currently have three, four, five, six, seven. I have nine images here right now. And what I usually try to do is get at least 10, 11, sometimes up to 15 slides, depending on how many videos I'm gonna make. The more slides I have, uh, the more chances that every video made is going to be completely unique and I won't have issues with it being duplicate so when you upload 50, 100, 500 videos to YouTube over time uh, they're not going to say you know this is a duplicate video and not post it so alright guys sorry about that phone um, but anyways yeah I try to have upwards of 15 slides just depending on how many videos that I'm going to create and with this one here I have I've already got my keywords I'm going to be using for it so there's only 22 in this one so this is going to be a little set of videos so I'm not too worried if I only have um, you know eight, eight or nine slides it should be fine with that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and right click and choose duration random duration and we're going to go between five and ten seconds and so what this is going to do, every time it creates a video, it's going to play one of these slides for 5 to 10 seconds, go to the next one 5 to 10 seconds. And so each one of them is going to be different, allowing each video to be more unique. Now, the more videos I make, um, what I will also do to make sure they're going to be unique is on the last video is I will set a random duration of it to be anywhere from like 10 to 30, sometimes 10 to 40 seconds. So that just adds more of a, of a time difference for each video that it creates. So once this is done, I'm going to go to create video. And I've already got my keywords I'm going to be using. Put them in this box to use. And if you're not familiar with what this does, for every video that Video Spin Blaster makes, it's going to use one of these keywords as the file name for that video. And then once we use the um, uploading software from Blaster Suite, uh, it's it we're, we're going to be able to use this also as the title and the main keyword, so we can see how it ranks using the software as well. So we have a total of 22. So we want to make sure that we uh, check this box to randomize pictures, and we want to create 22 videos. Therefore, it takes one each of all of these titles uh, for the file name. And we can choose if we want to randomize the first slide or the last slide. For this example, there's really no point in me to do that. So, well, actually there is because the last slide I have from 10 to 30 seconds. So I want that one to be stay as the last slide. So we'll make sure don't randomize last slide is checked. Add audio background, I've already got that selected. I, a lot of the audio files that I use for my videos I take from YouTube's audio library. You can go there and use them free. Um, some of them you do have to give credits for, some you don't. This depends on how you, uh, which ones you choose. So once I have that done, I'm going to go down here and click start. And it's going to start off generating all these videos. I'm going to let it run and I'll be back in a second. Okay, while it's creating that video, I also wanted to show you, I know there were some questions asked there on Facebook about the type of slides that I create and you can see here um, basically this is kind of the layout something similar to this that I use for each one of the slides we make um, you know a decent picture usually I pull the images from Amazon uh, there is a lot of debate whether that's copyright or not um, 
I have had my own Amazon FBA business as well since 2013, and this is an issue that's been going on for years and years and years. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like it's an issue with Amazon if other people use your images, at least from the impression that I get from them, especially if you're sending them traffic anyways. And I've never had issues using their images before. So until that time comes, I will probably continue to use them. I'm not saying you should, you have to. I'll leave that up to you, but I do use them. And so this is a domain that I purchased, uh, primdrybags.com or like premium dry bags. Um, something kind of generic and so I just redirected this directly to the Amazon page that sells this product now if I was going more generic with my product I could link it to Amazon but and instead of linking it directly to this product I would link it to a search page on Amazon that would have a variety of types of dry bags uh, but since um, the keywords that I'm using are going to be based upon the gecko dry bag that's exactly what that person's looking for I want to make sure that's where I take them to on Amazon because um, if someone's searching for a gecko waterproof dry bag they know the type of bag they're looking for and there's a good chance they're ready to buy so I want to get them to that product so they can purchase it and so that's what I'm doing with this and that's why I'm linking directly to this individual product on Amazon Okay, so we should have several videos made by now. We can see here it's created five, it's working on the sixth, and you can see here where it's gave each video uh, one of those keywords that we entered. So when we put these videos online on YouTube, each one of these keywords that you see here that this video is titled for is what the title of that video is going to be as well. And so what I want to do is go ahead and play one of these videos for you. That way you can get an idea of the type of video it is. And so let me go ahead and just, we'll just pick this one. Now you'll notice in this video uh, the text that I have over here and why I do this for is because each of these videos I make I try to make them anywhere from like a minute and a half to three minutes long somewhere in that area but you want to keep the visitor on that page as long as possible and the reason that is is because one of the major ranking factors of YouTube videos is how long someone is watching your video and so the more retention time you have the better your videos are going to rank and so if you put text on here they're going to be reading it as the slides are changing which is going to kind of keep them on that video longer uh, which is why you don't want to make something just really generic there for a long time there were some really cheap products out there available being sold from JVZoo and all these other places and what they would do they would just take a bunch of images and throw them together with some audio and they were just absolutely horrible and um, people didn't sit there and watch them and um, pretty much now YouTube don't allow those kind of videos they find them pretty quick and they don't rank well at all so you want to keep people on your video and you can do that by taking some text from the Amazon pages uh, putting it on here just to give them some information so they can read so they can learn more about it and that'll keep them there longer okay so that's the videos I make and what I'm going to do, it's got nine of them made. It still has quite a few left to make. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again, and I will be back when this is done, and then we will upload them to YouTube. Okay, so all the videos are done. Now it's time to upload them using the Mass Video Blaster Pro. So I've already have my account created and set up in here. I'm going to click on Add. And this is a very important step. So if you, you want to make sure, especially if you're uploading a lot of videos, uh, that you are using spin tax and you're trying to make it as unique as possible without having the exact same text on every video and so what we're going to do is click directory with video files and I'm going to browse to my file in my folder and now we're going to enter our title and I've already got all this stuff made up so just go ahead and paste it in here now what we're doing here, if you notice down here at the bottom, it says you can use the tag hashtag F hashtag and it will be replaced by the file name of the video. So anywhere that we use this code here, 
it is going to replace that with one of the keywords that we use to create that video with so whatever uh, video file name that has that's what it's going to use for this code wherever we use it in the video and so this is going to be our title so it's going to be our keyword then premium waterproof bags or premium dry bags and so for the description we're going to use this now I'm not going to go over all the details yet as of what I done in this video to help optimize it um, that's for another video uh, but for for this one what we done is I replaced this again put my keyword first in the description we have the link it's important you also put your link right after your main keyword for several reasons number one you want to make sure that the link is visible when people are watching your video you don't want to have them to scroll under the video and read a bunch of text but there's no link for them to click unless they expand the description box and then see your link you want it right here up front where they can see it easily click on it and go there and then we have um, our keywords going to be replaced here and here and then also here and then I took some of this information from the Amazon page and then I also put find more details on the keyword here and then I have some stuff down here at the bottom okay so for the tags we want to once again have our keyword first and then after that we can use just a bunch of different keywords I've already got mine ready and then for category what I recommend you do for the category is to either pick uh, news and politics how to or education and that's simply because these topics rank high um, these are the things that YouTube likes to see news the latest information um, how to videos training tutorial reviews and also educational which can also be like a how to related so those are the three that I recommend you try to fit in um, to use for all of your videos when you upload them for search term once again it's going to be the title of our video so once we have that done click add everything's added on here we're going to go to upload videos make sure that campaign selected and the first thing we have to do is uh, we have to let it know what campaign or what account we're going to be using so I'm going to go ahead and select that and then once that's done we can upload them uh, I can also schedule them instead and have them to just go out randomly at different times but we only have 21 videos I'm just going to go ahead and upload all of them at once and we are just going to let it go and then when it's done we'll check the rankings shortly after that and see how it's doing in both YouTube and in Google okay guys so the video is finished uploading and now we're going to go in YouTube and check and hopefully we got some ranked here and hopefully we'll get some more ranked in Google as well as time goes on so let's go ahead and let's just start off by doing a generic search um, gecko waterproof bag looks good okay and so here's the results and there's one video there's another one you can see here 23 minutes ago it was uploaded this one 27 minutes ago and you can see here this is where I added the link at the beginning and so as you can see as you're searching through the results here a lot of people may see this bag and they're gonna see this link and think oh well that's the bag I want and so instead of even watching the video they may just click on this link and go to uh, wherever you're redirecting them to and so as we scroll on down you can see we have a lot more of them and it looks like we uh, pretty much filled up the majority of the first page of YouTube so hopefully uh, if someone searching for gecko waterproof bag they are going to find these videos and it looks like there's three more on page two and of course these rankings will fluctuate a little bit as time goes on and uh, hopefully we can get some of these also on um, Google ranked let's um let's look at this one here pause the video and let's just do a search on it search Google 
for the Gecko Waterproof Drawstring Backpack and actually this one is on page one of Google already so and you can also see this link is right here now this one in Google doesn't get highlighted like it does in YouTube but it's still here so if someone wants to go there they can simply just copy this link and go to it and a lot of people does do that we uh, I try to track my a lot of my sales the best I can and I find that a lot of people this is what they do and so that kind of gives you an idea of how I make my videos um, what I do and it works this way whether I do it with software products whether I do it with physical products um, I know I didn't show you everything in this video there was a lot of things such as uh, keyword research using proxies um, other video optimization methods and but I do plan on making more videos and so if you guys did find this video helpful useful in any way let me know by just liking the video on YouTube and subscribing to my channel so you get notifications I just set up a new YouTube channel where I plan on making a lot more videos like this during doing tutorials uh, showing how I do a lot of the stuff that I do on here and so if you guys want updated on that just uh, subscribe to that channel and um, you guys will be notified whenever I upload new videos so hopefully it was helpful thanks